Good day, on module number 6 we are going to continue discussing the different skills in softball. Let us begin. Throwing is the most basic skill at baseball and softball. It helps the team to prevent their rival from hitting the base, or even winning points or running points. The form and technique of doing so vary from player to player. Here are the elements for throwing. Grip. Hold the ball around the seams with the index finger and the middle finger. The thumb is at the top of the fingers. Wind up. Raise the throwing arm up and tilt your shoulder in the direction of the throw. The gloved hand is pointing to the target. Lift the left foot and put all the body weight on the right foot. Delivery. Make a back swing with the bent elbows. Lean forward to move the weight to the left foot and release the ball. Follow, through. Point the throwing arm down forward, putting your legs parallel in a ready position. Pitching is a talent that brings the game to life. It's played by a pitcher, one of the main players in baseball, softball who stays at the middle of a playground called a diamond. This is how the pitching elements are executed. Wind up. Hold the front portion of the right foot in contact with the side of the plate. Shift the weight to the back of the leg and take a step backwards. Follow through. After the ball is released, keep going forward with the throwing arm pointed to the target. Stride. Take a step or a big step on your left foot. Release your ball. Catching. This is the tactical skill used to get a ball thrown to hold the base runner or hitter to continue to keep the opponent from receiving a point or a run. Observe the following mechanics in executing this skill. Keep the gloves open and keep an eye on the ball at all times. Hold your free hand in front of you and bring it to the tip of your glove as the ball gets closer. Close your hand around the ball as it hits the inside of your glove. Running, base, running. This is a very valuable ability that you need to learn because it helps you to move safely from one base to the other with maximum pace and agility. In order to train the body for efficient and successful running, consider the following. Speed running. Moving with pace from one point to a set distance. Try to get your times when you run and improve your pace every time you do it. Agility running. Run with a change in position and direction at the highest possible speed. To master this, you may as well start running around the base of the diamond. Enhance your pace every time you do it. Before beginning any baseball, softball drill classes, lead up or actual game, consider combining the following activities that can help you develop your running. Shuffle, back pedal, jogging, high knees, karaoke, butt kicks, and jumping jacks. That's all for physical education. Thank you and God BL. S.